Hey eBay sellers, it's time for another Money Making Monday. The sales in this video were taken from the October 15th, 2018 thread on my Facebook group. If you're new to this format, I have a Facebook group with over 30,000 sellers. Every Monday, Shaney starts the post and we post um, what we sold, how much it sold for, where we got it, how much we bought it for, and any other interesting information that might help other sellers learn about the item. But before we get started, just a quick announcement. A needlework course is now available in the Premium Content Library. So if you are already a member, it's down in the What to Sell section. And we'll go down here to the needlework course. Part one is 23 minutes long and it's just an overview of what what I'm talking about here what is needlework um, what are the kind of things you can sell and some things that have actually sold with the prices so this is one of those things where you just don't know what you don't know if you're not selling this stuff um, then I've got part two which is almost an hour long and it goes into great detail about the exact different types of needlework, keywords to use, um, some of the uh, you know nuances between the different kinds, what you should sell, what you should leave behind, and then I've also got more segments coming this week actually that I'm working on right now. So this course is going to be several hours long. So if you are not looking at the needlework at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales you'll really be shocked at how much this stuff can sell for um, and there's there's just gonna be a lot of information in this course so if you're not a member of the premium library come on over and just join for this course alone yeah, no pressure to to stay for a certain amount of time come on in take the course learn something new learn how to make more money on eBay because this type of product um, handmade needlework is usually underpriced and overlooked so while everybody's over fighting over the handbags and the shoes and the high-end designer clothing labels and all of that stuff um, you can be picking this stuff up and making good money on it so come check it out see you there bye Okay, this edition is taken from the October 15th, 2018 thread on my Facebook group. So let's dig in and get started. Okay, we've got Jerry here who got these golf shoes at a yard sale and was able to negotiate the price to $7. They are new with tags and took about three weeks to sell. They are on their way to Australia for $75 plus shipping. So let's get to the correct listing here. View original item. I wish eBay would change this back to the old way where you could just click on something and see what it actually is. Okay, so here are the FootJoy Pro M Project golf shoes, spikeless, men's white, mesh, size 10.5 wide. Um, the fact that they're wide is probably a contributing factor to the higher price that he got for these. Um, but negotiating is the key. He said he negotiated at a garage sale and um, don't be afraid to do that. You've got cash in hand and these people want to get rid of their stuff. People have garage sales to get rid of their stuff. Um, Yes, you will go to some where they're trying to make money, but in most cases, they're having a garage sale or a yard sale because they want to get rid of things. They don't want to drag it all back in the house. So don't be afraid to negotiate. You don't know what, what you might end up with. Okay, we've got Jerry again. Found this Jeep belt buckle at an estate sale last weekend. It cost a dollar. It took five days to sell it. It brought in $15 plus shipping. So let's go look at the original item. 
that's cool looking that's very retro yeah that's 70s with the kind of groovy lettering there belt buckles are great to sell because they are they can go for high prices I've sold them for around hundred dollars before um, I, I had a John Wayne collectible belt buckle one time that I was selling for someone else and it sold for hundred dollars so I got half of that um, but they're easy to ship they're small they're easy to store so even if it is attached to a crappy looking belt you can always remove the belt buckle and sell it on its own so 15 bucks there turned a dollar into 15 okay we've got Allie here who says vans are happening again in a big way especially funky prints picked these up at Plato's Closet for $18 sold for $43 plus shipping so let's take a look at her listing here vans Star Wars Yoda blue floral <laughs> Aloha men's lace up canvas so vans are just like um, sneakers um, some are slip on some are lace up they they were a big thing with surfers for a while that's kind of what they're associated with um, so if you know if you remember that trend they're back and don't forget these consignment stores she said she got these at Plato's closet that is a consignment store um, there's Uptown Cheapskate, there's, um, they're all over the place. They may just be like a one owner store, not necessarily a chain, but they often have clearance sales. They often have great little gems hiding in there and um, the stuff's not posted online. So you can, you can find some good deals if you're willing to look. So Goodwill is not the only game in town, you guys, look around try other things you can find stuff everywhere if you just look okay Jerry's got another one here I found this new inbox Bissell steam cleaner at a thrift store paid five dollars took about a month to sell so Jerry is uh, we need to get him on a YouTube vi um, interview so he can talk about his business because um, he's definitely a, an example of somebody who is diversified sells all kind of stuff and you know he's he's going he's got 261 feedback which is great but it's not like thousands and thousands like he's a been doing this for over 10 years you know he's he's not um, he's kind of new at this but very good at it so Jerry I'm gonna contact you about that but anyway um, here is the Bissell cleaner with all the attachments and again he said he got it for five dollars at uh, a thrift store and sold it for 45 so there you go and then we've got Allie again won this jacket and a pair of gloves on auction for $12.99 the jacket sold for fifty dollars plus shipping and I still have the gloves left to sell so yes this is a thing where you can go on eBay and look for items that you are familiar with that you know are priced too low people put things on auction all the time and only get one bid or they don't sell at all or they'll take a low best offer and then you can turn around and sell the item um, in my premium content library I have an entire course on how to buy things on eBay or online and flip them for profit on eBay so this is not a new idea this has been around a long time but um, I developed this course which is 75 minutes long um, for people with sourcing challenges so if you're chronically ill or disabled and you can't get out to find things locally or your thrift stores in the area don't have a good selection or their prices are too high or you just don't have any good thrift stores in your area or um, you know during the winter time if you're in an area with harsh climate and you don't want to get out in the weather to find things to sell um, lots of reasons I was hearing about you know how can I learn to buy things on eBay and flip them and, and I've done this myself so um, that's what this course is about it'll teach you how to do this because millions of items go unsold on eBay uh, probably every week because um, they're auctions that 
people just aren't don't buy from auctions as much or misspellings or bad photos or whatever it is so um, another thing you can check out to help you with sourcing if you have sourcing challenges you can tap into the power of eBay to find things to resell and this works eBay is full of things that are underpriced titles are spelled wrong poorly presented that you can snipe you can buy and resell and there's no reason you can't do that so perfect example there um, Allie again my favorite find last week new to check out anything crafty from this group Goodwill just wheeled out three bins and they had a total of 13 of these cutting dies for a dollar a piece sold this one for thirty dollars plus shipping in one day so here it is it's a, a quilt go and go baby fabric cutting die butterfly 30 bucks so just uh, pay attention to everything in the thrift store you just don't know what you're leaving behind um, then we've got ginger who bought this hydration pack at goodwill for two dollars several months ago sold it this weekend for best offer of forty dollars so it is an Eliat l-e-a-t-t -T, racing um, hydration pack basically you put water or whatever beverage in there and it's got a little straw that you can drink out of as you're doing whatever sport you're doing um, so two dollars and she turned it into forty dollars and this this goes with like the weird junk in the back like you don't know what it is kind of thing so you've just got to get back there and learn you've got to get out of your comfort zone because there's so much money to be made and um, if your own fear is holding you back um, that's something you have to overcome you just got to try new things if it works great if it doesn't then you learn not to do that again here's ginger again bought two of these boxes of golf balls at a garage sale this weekend for three dollars for each box sold within minutes of listing twenty two ninety nine plus shipping to two separate buyers so let's see what they are Polera ultimate starlight self-correcting two-piece golf balls so uh, some type of specialty golf ball and she bought two boxes for three dollars each and then flipped them immediately for twenty three dollars each to two different buyers so she was obviously onto something here with this specialty product and those are really easy to ship um, they're not going to break so I love those kinds of items okay we've got Jerry again with some automotive manuals these came from an estate sale that cost a dollar it took about four months for the right buyer to come along and I accepted a best offer of sixteen dollars plus shipping so let's take a look at what it is for Peugeot technical training manuals blah 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 all the information so it's basically um, automotive manuals those sell very well people collect them and they may actually be um, a mechanic or I hate to say mechanic because people who work on uh, expensive foreign cars are much more than a mechanic they that's that's a calling that's a skill so uh, but people who work on cars <laughs> um, often use these manuals if they're working on an older model and the information is not available to them so sold these for $26.99 and he paid a dollar and and this is the the meat of your eBay business are these sales that you pay for a dollar you sell it for 20 you know over and over and over again that's that's kind of the baseline of what you're doing on eBay yes you're gonna have items that will sell for more but this is gonna be the foundation of your business are these sales between twenty and thirty dollars that are consistent over time that's what's gonna make you the money okay we've got Lindsay who paid 29 cents at a thrift store sold for thirteen dollars in one day and what is this vintage US Air Force military coffee cup yes military stuff sells very well people love it 
Um, they love it for themselves. They love to give it as gifts. They love it to display in their home. Um, it's fun and um, always a good seller. So paid 29 cents and sold for $13 in one day. That again is like the foundation of your eBay business. Stuff like that that you just do over and over and over again. Um, Lindsay paid $5 at Goodwill, sold for $90 on seven day auction. So we need to see what this is. Vintage Men's JNCO Stinger 90s Raver Skateboard Shorts. Okay, so these are obviously vintage and um, Lindsay said that she knew they were vintage because I remember them from my junior high days. They were big in the 90s. However, I probably wouldn't have bought them. My husband is the one that purchased them. I didn't know anyone would be looking for them. So yes, um, vintage clothing, great sellers. People want it. So she turned $5 into $90, $90 and did a seven-day auction. Um, sometimes auctions are exactly what you need to do. Just make sure that you start um, your item at a high enough price to make it worth your time. Okay, Rebecca got this in a tote of free stuff I got off Facebook. Sold in two days. What is it? Patagonia Women's Quilted Puffer Blue Jacket. Patagonia is a great seller. Um, look for that, the logo with the little mountains. But um, she got this free off a of Facebook group. So if you are not using Facebook groups to get merchandise, you need to check that out. Again, in my premium content library, I have a whole course on that. It's an hour long. You can learn how to do it. Um, that library's really getting built up with stuff now, so it's totally worth your $20 a month. Even if you just come in there one time and look at everything over a month, you're going to learn some new stuff. Okay, Patty found these while cleaning out my neighbor's basement. Less it looks like she sold them in less than 30 days on eBay. And let's go see what it is. Vintage Old Arrow Heart Electrical Cord Plugs. Okay, so it's for repairing lamps uh, or whatever. Um, it's little plugs that you put on the end. So she found these in her neighbor's basement. And they sold for $22.99. So... Don't throw anything away until you check it out to see if it's worth anything on eBay. All right, Emily found seven Hermes ties at Goodwill, $3.99 each, listed on Friday, sold two this weekend for $60 and $65. This is the third time I found large quantities of Hermes ties. Got to love the closet clean out. Yes, you do. I've never found one, and I do look. Um, I look for like um, Ferragamo, Vineyard Vines, a few different brands that I know, but um, I'm not a big tie seller. But I do look for this because you just never know when it's going to show up in front of you. And that's a cool pattern there with the pink and the navy blue. So it was $3.99 and she's already sold two of them, one for $60 and one for $65. So this stuff is out there, you guys. You know, eBay is not dead. And there are treasures everywhere. I mean, this thread proves it, which is why I love doing the Money Making Mondays and the $100 sales videos because um, this is just proof that you can do this because these people are already doing it. Okay, Woodrow found these at the bins, paid $1.30, sold in less than a week for $25.10 plus shipping. The Lucky Brand Jeans. They are the 121 Heritage Slim style. Um, $1.30 turned it into $25 on a pair of jeans. The jeans market is kind of tough. It, it can take a little while to sell your item, but you know it's all about what you're paying for it and what you're willing to take. So I think, I think people get greedy on eBay and they just think they're going to get more than the item's really worth and hang on to stuff with unrealistic expectations so like if you're getting stuff for a dollar at the bins or less than that you can take less for it and the idea is to keep your items moving obviously you're not going to underprice things that are valuable that are unique or limited in number but 
again, this is the perfect example of your baseline eBay business. The foundation of your business should be these items that sell for between $25 and $30 because it's doable and it's realistic. Okay, Luann bought these at a yard sale for $5, sold for $61.99 plus $17.99 shipping, took one week to sell. They are some boots. Let's take a look at what they are. It's called Irish Setter Red Wing Insulated Camo Hunting Boots, Women's Medium. Yes, women do wear hunting boots. Women do go hunting. Women do go in the woods. Women do go hiking. <laughs> Somebody said that to me the other day. They were like, um, they didn't realize that, you know, women can wear rugged shoes. They're not just always going to be dainty uh, sitting on the sidelines. You know, women get out there and do stuff too, and they need the clothes and shoes to do it. So what did she say these sold for? $61.99. So there's, there's her price right there. Um, good pictures. Very good pictures there. And she paid five bucks for these shoes. So um, again, if you're not looking at everything, you're missing opportunities. Some people just can't get past the ick factor of selling shoes, but they're very profitable. As we see here, $5 turned into $62 in about a week. Um, where else can you do that besides eBay or online? Um, Melissa sold for, oh, she bought it for a dollar, sold for $49.99 in about a week. And let's see what it is. Lots of brand names I haven't seen before. So if you're not studying this thread every week on your own, you're really missing out. Um, if you're on Facebook anyway, this is what you should be looking at to learn from. This is Bulwark Classic Brown Jacket Flame Resistant. So here is the logo if you have not seen this before. Okay, Red Cap Industries, that, they're famous for making uniforms. So this is a line within Red Cap called Bulwark. Let's see, she's got B-U-L-W-A-L-K in her title, but it's actually W-A-R-K, and I will bet that's a, that's a spell checker. Um, autocorrect got her on that one, probably, because it happens to me all the time. Um, it wants to change titles, uh, brand names, to something that it's not. <laughs> so um, if you've got autocorrect turned on on your computer or your phone, however you're listing, make sure that you check that title again before you hit submit because it does change things and this has happened to me many times. Okay, so a dollar for this jacket and sold for $49.99. Okay, Brian bought these at a garage sale this summer for about ten dollars about four months later I just sold for two hundred dollars and this looks very interesting this looks like woodworking tools vintage Henry Taylor tools dynamic wood turning lathe chisels set of seven so yes these are woodworking tools for making all of those um, carvings those scrolly things all the designs um, it's very specialized tool set and he said he got these for ten dollars and sold for two hundred dollars for these tools so this is a perfect example again of something you may not know what it is it looks interesting it's small and easy to ship but very valuable so I'm pushing you out of your comfort zone I really want to encourage you to expand your knowledge you know maybe make that your goal for 2019 is to get out of your comfort zone and learn new things um, because this is what's holding a lot of you back um, you know on the phone consultations I do and the store critiques that's what I see a lot of is just too much of the same and you're in the thrift store anyway you're at the garage sale anyway you might as well look at everything and try some things um, worst case scenario you sell it for what you bought it for 
and move on and realize that item didn't work. Okay, we've got Luann again, paid a dollar at a yard sale, sold for $29.99 plus $4.99 shipping. And it's a Texas Instruments calculator. Calculators are always great. So there it is. It's a TI-89 gra graphing calculator. That's hard to say. And cover. So easy flip there, easy to ship. And somebody got a great calculator at a great deal. All right, Jody paid a dollar at a church rummage sale, took about three months to sell for $26.39 to a buyer in Spain. Let's see what this is. 1990s polo Ralph Lauren tan beige baseball cap hat. So it's just got the, it looks like it's got the pony logo, which that's a good thing to put in your title if your Ralph Lauren item has the pony logo, the polo guy, put that in the title because people search for that. There are plenty of Ralph Lauren things out there that don't have that pony logo on them, but people want it. So she did great on this. A dollar at a church rummage sale and sold for 26 and then shipped it internationally. So fantastic. Okay, we've got Melissa again, paid $2 at a thrift store, sold in a couple of weeks for $25. Go into someone curating a collection of Ralph Lauren pieces at Parsons School of Design in New York City for the Ralph Lauren 50th anniversary. Wow. So they went on eBay and bought what they needed for their project. And here are the red Ralph Lauren denim jeans. And she's got pony logo, a pony button fly there, but there's the pony logo on the little pocket. And what'd she say? She paid $2 at a thrift store, sold in a couple of weeks for $25. So you just never know where your item's going to go or who's buying it or what they're buying it for. Um, don't make assumptions. Be open to any um, result. You know, be open to any possibility that might happen. Um, I hear people say, you know, oh, nobody's going to buy that. Nobody would buy that in the summer. People only want to buy coats in the winter or, you know, things like that. Don't make these assumptions. Anything can sell at any time. Um, go into it with complete open expectations to any possibility that might arise because you just never know. Okay, moving along, we've got Jackie who found this item for $5 at a garage sale, took an offer of $40 plus shipping, and it looks like a nativity scene, and this sold October 12th, so yes, Diana Duhon, Christmas sells all year, <laughs> Diana started mocking me because I say that so much, but um, People, sometimes it's the first time they've heard it or they don't believe it. So I got to keep saying it because it does, it is true. So this is Willow Tree Christmas Nativity Set, six piece original box uh, with packaging. And she took an offer of $40. Um, this looks really nice condition. So she says it's new because it's in the box and it's got all the paperwork with it. And that's really cool. It looks like it's carved, obviously carved from, I guess, willow. That's why it's called willow tree. So when you guys see this holiday stuff, it does not matter what time of year it is. Look it up. See if it's valuable. You know, if it's not on eBay because the season is passed and other people don't have anything up for sale, you can look at other sites. Look at Etsy. Look at replacements.com. Look on Amazon. Um get an idea of if it's worth listing because just because there's no completeds for something doesn't mean you shouldn't try to sell it. That's an opportunity. That means that there's not very many of them out there or maybe not any. So yes, Christmas sells all year. All right, we've got Jody again, paid 90 cents at Goodwill, sold for $54.95 plus $5 shipping about an hour after listing. So this is in that needlework category, and I see these things all the time. Um, 
that's another thing my course talks about is kits and supplies and all of the accessories that this whole industry of, around needlework that um, you stuff you can sell that you just may not be aware of so this was a, a kit that has all of the um, the thread and you know all the supplies in there to make this item and she paid 90 cents and sold it for $55 so yay Jody good for you good eye on that and these kits are so easy to ship they're not gonna break they're not gonna expire great thing to sell um, okay so then we've got Lisa bought this at a church sale for three dollars sold for full price in six hours plus forty five dollars uh, oh I'm sorry forty five dollars plus shipping this is a laser link quick shot laser golf range finder okay so it's a golfing accessory thing um, a junk in the back thing that you might not know what it is so that's when you stop and look it up and figure out what it is three bucks and sold for forty five and it sold in six hours so gold star for Lisa getting it listed because it sold right away and picking up some odd item that maybe you didn't even know what it was and figuring this out gold star there okay Luann bought this gorgeous vintage dress at a garage sale for a dime okay that's somebody who just wants to get rid of stuff so 10 cents listed it as a flapper Halloween Gats Gatsby costume theater dress it even had missing beads sold in two days for $29.99 plus $10.99 plus shipping I'm sorry 10 10 99 shipping sorry I get a little excited on this thread and just trip over my words um, so here it is it's beaded and it, what's the brand Lawrence Kazar nope something else I can't even read what that says Does, do you have the name down here use allure that's a new one so um, this looks like Lawrence Kazar but it doesn't really matter it's beaded and it could be used for a costume maybe it will be maybe it won't be but she marketed that way um, a dime and it sold for 30 bucks so you just don't know what people are gonna put in their garage sales and how they're gonna price things alright we've got our all-star George Kelly here bought this wig at a garage sale for a dollar sold at auction for twenty three dollars and fifty cents wigs are great sellers all year not just around Halloween because there's theater there's drama there's high school has plays there's you know all kinds of other reasons kids just dress up um, they have dress up trunks and they just dress up for fun they're playing they're being creative so this is a kids Irish dance wig okay and it's got the ringlets on it um, I can definitely see that going for a Halloween costume um, this is actually I'm filming this on November 1st so Halloween is over but um, this kind of stuff sells all year wigs are expensive so he paid a dollar sold for twenty three fifty okay we've got Teresa here bought for a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill sold in a week it looks like they're Russian nesting dolls yes coca-cola Russian nesting doll uh, folk art stackable and they sold for 48 88 so 50 bucks for something she paid two dollars for and just because it looks cool and living in Atlanta these coca-cola collectors are just off the chain they have entire basements full of this stuff just everywhere because um, that's where coca-cola is headquartered you know global company and people that have worked there may have been there for decades and they they collect this stuff so or maybe they didn't even work there they just love coca-cola stuff but I'm just saying in Atlanta I've seen it myself inside people's homes their collections as well as all this stuff in the, up in thrift stores because um, a lot of it's made here or sold here or given away here because we have the headquarters so great job Teresa and Gold Star for you for getting that listed so it could sell I want everybody just to take a minute right here if you have a death pile near you 
or if you're not near your death pile, visualize it and just make a commitment to tackle it because you have money sitting right there. You can do this. You just have to make some kind of attainable goal for yourself. Say, I'm going to list 10 items a week or I'm going to work on my eBay an hour a day. Make some kind of commitment to tackle that pile. You still have time to get things listed so they can sell for um, gift giving, which is Christmas and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and all the stuff that happens in November and December, um, but also year round because this you're seeing on these posts here, a lot of these things are selling within hours or days. So um, you got to get it listed. All right, Kim paid $6.48 at Goodwill, sold for best offer of $65 in about two weeks. It's a beautiful top, but it did have some flaws, which is okay. Things still sell with flaws all the time. We've got Lily Rubin, silk, red, white, teardrop. That's a nice keyword. Top. And she sold it for how much? $65 on best offer. It was $6.48 at Goodwill. So beautiful beaded, very striking uh, colors there, very interesting textures, like it's got the, um, the hemline that's jagged, it's got the, the huge fern pattern. So that's definitely something interesting, different, unique, and that's what people like. That's why they like buying on eBay is they can find things that aren't mass produced, you know, like everyone got that top at Target, everyone's wearing that, or everyone got that at Kohl's. No, you can have interesting, unique things. Um, so think of eBay as just a huge online consignment store type thing where you just don't know what you're going to see. A lot of people come here for fashion. Okay, Kim also paid eight sixty-six at Goodwill, sold on best offer for fifty dollars in about a month, and she said this was new territory for her and they are inline skates. So good for you, Kim, for venturing out into different categories. That's where you're gonna grow is when you are doing new things. So good job. And then we've got Kim again, paid $2.15 at Goodwill, sold for full asking price in less than two days. So gold star for Kim on getting things listed. This is a Waycole bra size 36 double D. Waycole is an expensive brand. Those bras are like $80 new. Just go walk around Macy's sometime or even Kohl's and just look at the prices on on bras brand new and you'll see why these sell online um, because even on sale they're very expensive. So this was $2.15 turned into 25 bucks in two days. Okay, we've got KC here with his Lego sale. $30 at a garage sale, enjoyed for a few years, and now passing it on for $115 with free shipping. Sold in a couple of hours. If you guys have not checked out my seller interview with KC, I've got the link to that above. Check it out. Um, he knows his Legos. Sorry, his Lego. There's no S on the end of that. Um, so what a deal. Buy it play with it for a few years and then sell it for what four times what you paid for it you can't beat that great sale okay let's see you've got Kim again six dollars and forty eight cents at Goodwill in April finally sold for best offer of forty two seventy five and it's a Lululemon jacket so not everything sells immediately but you just keep listing and um, that's that's the beauty of this business because as you build up your inventory, you've got things that sell right away. You've got things that take a little while, but it's, it all gets mixed together so that eventually you're going to get sales regularly and consistently. I don't want to say every day because there are sellers with thousands of items in inventory and sometimes they go a day without selling anything. That's just the way it works. Um, I didn't sell anything for two days and then boom all of a sudden it just comes back so if you just keep building your inventory build it and they will come and then we've got Kim again bought for 648 
sold for best offer of $38.75 in one month. And this is Joseph Ribkoff. That's a great brand to sell. Look that up if you've not heard of it. This was a fuzzy, um, off-the-shoulder sweater. I can see this being worn at holiday time with you know, red accessories or gold accessories. It's got that trendy off-the-shoulder look, um, interesting texture. So this is something that you wouldn't just see every day. It's kind of different. All right, we've got Casey again, found in my personal comic collection from my youth. Sold this lot for $50 plus shipping in seven days. And it looks like a comic book lot. Marvel Comics Wolverine lot. And he's got all the, the numbers on there. So 50 bucks and sold in seven days. So there you go. Congratulations, Casey. I'm going to give you a gold star because you were on here last week saying that you needed um, a kick in the butt to get busy again. So I'm glad I could provide that for you. <laughs> All right, here we've got Kim again. $4.90 at Goodwill, sold for $20 in about a week. And this was perfect time for Halloween. Girls, Batgirl costume. Now that's unusual. You don't see that very often. Um, but this is something I would pick up all year because for that very reason that you just don't see it very often. And some little girl just might want to play in this and dress up and be Batgirl all the time. My son went through this Batman thing when he was about four and um, he just wore his Batman pajamas all the time. And I didn't really care. Um, you know, he'd want to wear them to the grocery store. And so what? He's four. Let him do it. <laughs> You know, who's going to care? They're going to they're going to be in middle school before you know it and not want anything to do with you. So um, I love it when kids wear their costumes out in public. I just I think it's fun and go moms and dads for letting them do that. Um, let them be a kid. All right. Jenny has this uh, bought this yarn at a thrift store for two dollars, listed it before going to bed and woke up to it sold for forty five dollars. So this goes under the needlework, needle arts, craft section category. Um, it's Harry Potter yarn made special for, I don't know, if some kind of craft or just the colors. It looks like it's like variegated. It changes colors within the, the length of the yarn. So um, what'd she say she bought this for? two dollars and it sold for 45 so again if you're not checking out needlework craft supplies accessories completed pieces kits all of that stuff it's money to be made all right we've got Kim again boy she had a good week and this is a hot topic vest Let's see what we've got here. Rude. Hot Topic Blue Biker Punk Rock Denim Jean Vest Jacket with a Skull. Um, that looks like a Day of the Dead kind of thing. She paid $6.48 at Goodwill, sold on best offer of $31. So that is your perfect sale. Um, an item selling between $25 $30, something you can do consistently over and over again. All right, we've got Casey again. I can't believe I got $25 plus shipping on this garage sale Thomas the Train engine. Paid $20 for the whole collection. And he, so he paid $20 for the whole collection, but this one piece sold for 25 bucks. So parting it out. Always check that if you've got a set, a kit, multiple pieces, how is it gonna sell the best for you as far as profit. Um, so, yep, I remember Thomas the Train watching that with my son. He was a big fan of that too. Um, okay, we've got Kim again. $10.81 at Goodwill, sold for best offer of $40 in about two weeks. And these are biking shoes that uh, mount for mountain biking. So, $10 sold for 40 I mean, she made good money on that 
ten dollars might be a bit high for some of y'all to invest in something but it depends on what it can sell for and how unique or rare it is is going to affect how quickly it sells Kim you just did great look at all that stuff okay let's do a few more and then we can wrap up this episode and I really am trying to do more of these um, it's just like everyone time is at a premium <laughs> I spend time listing my own stuff and shopping and, and doing a lot of different things so um, I know y'all enjoy these Money Making Monday videos I enjoy them too so I'm going to commit to making these more often okay we've got Cynthia with this item that was $5.99 at a thrift store sold in a few days for $59.99 it's an Alex Evenings. That's kind of along the same lines as um, Lily Rubin or Lawrence Kazar. Um, some of their items can be more casual, not quite as uh, elaborately beaded, but that's a good brand that, that can sell, um, as you can see here. And this is a jacket, um, sequin jacket, and it's a 1X. So this item had a lot of things going for it it's for holiday or evening wear that usually sells for more it's a plus size it's got the sequins it's a dark color so it could be you know conservative um, which don't think you have to sell like crazy trending clothing all the time because there's a lot of people out there that, that want conservative clothing they don't they're not into all this half shoulder off the shoulder super short skirts um, you know super tight jeans all that stuff that can be trendy um, there's a market for conservative clothing as well so you know you've got to just broaden your horizons and and look at everything but this was $5.99 and sold for $59 so can't beat that okay my friend Suzanne in Dallas she paid $14 at a thrift store about six months ago sold for best offer of $90 learn the difference between steel toe and composite toe boots well that is very interesting because I did not know that so let's see what she can teach us here she says both steel toe and composite toe feel the same but it's important in some professions like electrical work to have a non-metal safety toe for these boots I just went to manufacturers website and read the specs for the style number thank you so much for educating us on that because I did not know that and that makes perfect sense so these were Red Wing which I think we saw this brand earlier work boots and let's see it says safety toe so the key word to use would be safety toe rather than steel toe because they're not steel toe and there are people specific, specifically looking for this type of footwear that does not have steel toes so gold star to Suzanne Keen for educating us on that okay um, here we go we're gonna end on Joyce Wilson <laughs> since I started this off with needlework we're gonna end on needlework she purchased three cross stitch kits off a of Facebook marketplace for a dollar or 33 cents each paid 620 to have them shipped to me this one had no comps at the time of purchase when I listed it another opened kit had just sold for the same price took only two to three days to sell I knew it would be Busilla. That's a wonderful brand to sell. So this was Busilla Father Christmas Needlepoint Stocking Kit. Open but unused. And it sold for $124, you guys. Okay? She paid $0.33 cents for this item that sold for $124. So check out the needlework course so you can learn what is out there that you can make money on. Um, we've got some comments below here uh, Cindy said I have three opened kits that I found at Value Village not sure if I have all the pieces I'm going to list them as a lot thanks for posting gives me inspiration um, so they're just discussing what's in the kit but yeah you can sell these if they've been opened you can sell all kinds of needlework um, 
just just come to the course and and it's too much to explain here so um, thanks for watching I hope you guys have learned something would love your comments below sorry this got a little long but I am committing to doing more of the money making Mondays and the hundred dollar sales videos because there's just so much to learn there's so much opportunity out there and there's plenty for everyone I mean there's just the abundance of stuff out there to buy and resell is is really mind-boggling so come back appreciate you watching my channel please subscribe if you have not and have a profitable and productive day on eBay bye